Hey guys, welcome back. Um, so this is gonna be a final review on the hair that I currently have in my head. Um, this is the glitzy hair. Um, this is a I, I'm assuming an independently owned company. Um, I did. They have locations where I live, so I just walked down to one of their locations and I ordered. I mean, yeah, I bought some hair. Um. I have on my phone here some things I want to talk about about this hair. I've had this hair in for either two months exactly or maybe two months and two weeks. So I've had this hair in for a while. Um, and as you can see, I colored it. like It's like this teal color right now, but we'll get into the color in a second. But the closure is not from glitzy this is an ultra simply brazilian closure i talked about this closure and my um getting back to beauty supply beauty supply store hair series episode two i'll leave that video link down below if you want to know about this closure and how i feel about it and yada 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 the price all that the good stuff it's all in that video um but I've had this hair in for a while, and if I'm not mistaken, I have in either a 12, 16, 18, or 14, 16, 18, something like that. I did get one of their bundle deals. Um, I will leave the exact links down below along with the initial review of this hair. The day I bought this hair, the day I installed it, so I put like the install video and my initial review all in one video. And I will leave that video linked down below. Um, if you want to check it out. Uh, so we're going to start with like coloring first. So this, I, the day I bought this hair, as I said, the day I bought it, the day I installed it, and the day I colored it. So I started out, I know it looks like this teal color. Like bluish, greenish, like aquamarine or whatever, but... I started out with um, Adore's Royal Blue, um, and I used some BW2 and some Seven Stage Lightning Powder, which is my favorite powder bleach. I really prefer a Seven Stage, but I can't remember. But I think I initially bought two packs of seven seven stage and some 40 volume developer thinking that would be enough but when i first bleached it and bleached as light as i wanted it to bleach so i had a, i used whatever i had like a half a pack of bw2 left so i used that and i still wanted to be bleached some more so i went out and bought like two or three packs of seven stage i can't remember which ones i used but in my initial review i have the exact amounts um, of what I used and as I said I used 40 Clairol 40 volume developer and I just got it really light not too light but sort of light so I got it sort of light and then like light blonde and then I added the color so again I added Adore's Royal Blue and it was a nice deep blue towards the bottom of my hair um, and a little bit in the ends of the closure um, the only thing I didn't like is as I washed the hair um, it started to turn like this yellowy green so i had to go over it again but i ran out of royal blue and ended up putting royal blue and adores indigo blue and then it gave me kind of a uh, um purpley like bluish shade but i've i haven't colored it since then and i've been washing my hair and now that's how it got to the color that it is now I don't like it. I don't love it. I mean, I don't. I don't like it. I don't hate it, but it's cute nonetheless. This hair took to the color extremely well, um, but yeah, it, it it colored well. Like I didn't have any issues with coloring. I didn't have any shedding with coloring. This hair, like none whatsoever, which I was really shocked about. And this is sewn onto a U part wig. So I have a dome, I've sold the hair onto a dome cap and then I sold my closure onto my head and sewn the dome cap around my closure. So yeah. this hair doesn't shed um, often, like it's very, extremely minimal. Like I remember ever being like, well, maybe two times when I washed it, like when I first 
like my first time ever washing this hair after my initial after my initial wash like when I first got it or whatever I washed it two times after that during those two washes it did shed I don't know why I didn't cut my wefts um I really only cut my wefts toward the top to like fill in the closure in the top but far as the bottom goes I didn't cut my wefts I, I always I really always use the flip over method um because it pervert preserves my units but it did shed during that time which I don't really understand why but it was really minimal the shedding during that time wasn't anything crazy but it did shed tangling this hair doesn't tangle I haven't had any tangling issues with this hair whatsoever like period this hair does not tangle it's always no matter what I do with this hair how many times I colored it because I colored it twice as I said um and I used all that bleach but I don't get any tangling like even right now like I don't I'm not getting any shedding right now I only really get shedding when I'm like minimal shedding when I'm washing it when I'm when it's getting a nice shampoo condition it'll shed um but other than that I don't get any tangling or any shedding um it was one thing I was gonna say about this hair. Oil. This hair gets really, really oily, and I know they say with Brazilian hair you have to be careful with you how much oil you putting you put in it because it'll like absorb it. And I get that, but when this hair gets oily, of course at some point I have to rinse the oil out because it'll just weigh the hair down. Like I like the hair a little way down right now, but it's an okay way down. I kind of like it like this. So when I straighten it. And it'll get bone straight. And speaking of bone straight, I didn't even say what texture it is. It's Brazilian natural wave. So this hair originally is not straight. I straightened this hair. I didn't like the length and the wave pattern together. Like the wave pattern is beautiful. Um, but for it to be that wavy, I would prefer it be longer, like a 2022 and be that wavy. Um, or, yeah, so I, I decided to keep the hair straight. Don't get me wrong, I'll insert some pictures of me when I've worn it wavy. All I have to do is, like, dampen it with water and let it air dry and it goes back to the exact same wave pattern. This hair, no matter, as long as this hair gets wet, it will revert back to its natural wave pattern. Like, I haven't had any problems with that, but yeah so it'll always revert so this is brazilian natural wave but yeah it'll always always revert back to its beautiful wave pattern and i will insert some pictures So the reason why I didn't do like a two week update or a month update because the hair didn't change like after I did my initial review, everything with the hair stayed the same. Nothing got better, nothing got worse, nothing, just nothing changed. So I didn't do any, I didn't do an update just for me to say, oh, you know, the hair is still holding up. It's fine, like nothing changed with the hair. So I didn't do any other updates because nothing changed this hair literally stayed the same throughout the whole day i'm actually not not the whole day throughout the whole time even up to today like this hair is still good um i do wash and condition it or whatever when it needs to be or when it gets too oily um the only thing that got worse is the closure we're getting that into that in a second but yeah this hair is always is, has been so good I'm actually going to keep this unit and maybe turn into a bob at some point or whatever. But yeah, I'm going to keep so this So now we're going to get into the closure. This is the Ultra Simply Brazilian Closure. As I said, I already did like a little mini review or talk about this closure in a previous video that I will leave linked down below. But the closure, I don't recommend you having this closure in for as long as I did because it just looks a little shabby after a month so this closure is only really good to last you from like two no from like the most three weeks to a month any longer than that it starts to look a little ratty and raggedy and the closure is not that full anyway 
So you don't want a thin looking ratness of a closure. I keep it straightened and I do wash it and I keep it um like oiled or whatever. And this closure, it is a virgin hair closure. So when I wet it, it does wave up like they similar to what the hair does. So yeah, I don't recommend you have this closure in for too long. Price, I did get a bundle deal. I will leave the link to their website below. And they do have a tab with like bundle deals. So I did get a bundle deal, but their prices are okay. Like for virgin hair, I mean, yeah, like their prices are pretty good. And as I said, they do, um... They do offer a bundle deal. This is one of the bundle deals I got. Only thing I don't like about their bundle deal is some of the lengths are weird. Like, I think I felt like my lengths were kind of weird or whatever. But other than that, um, let's see here. Two thumbs up. Ten out of ten. Like, minimal shedding. No tangling. Um, colors well. Uh, good quality hair. Um... Yeah, glitzy hair. Amazing. Um, if you guys have any other questions about this hair, let me know. Again, I'll leave the initial review down below. And then here is the final review. I am going to keep this unit. And we'll just wait and to see well, we'll, we'll just wait and see what I, what I do with it next. Um, don't forget to to like, comment, and of course subscribe. Follow me on my social networks. I have uh Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. I will leave them all, all my usernames below, just follow me. Um, and yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in the next one.